What's good, everyone? It's your friend Philly Fan for Sunday, March 14th, 2021. Back with another video lean in the NBA. A little more hardwood action. We got the Utah Jazz. We got the Golden State Warriors. We have Utah, which is a six and a half point road favorite. Uh, the total opened up at 230. Uh, definitely some star power in this game, some certainly some firepower. Uh, we got the Jazz, which are 28-9 overall, 25-12 against the spread, and 6-4 and in their last 10. The Warriors on the other side, uh, they're getting 6.5. They're 19-19 overall, 18-20 against, against the spread, 4-6 in their last 10. So this game, I mean, I, I think you can certainly make arguments going either way on this, but at the end of the day, I mean, if it's – the injuries aren't there, or if the lineups roll out the way I suspect, I went through. I don't see anything glaring on either side, but obviously it's something we've got to pay attention to. But figuring, you know, Steph plays, figuring Draymond plays, you know, figuring uh, on the other side, you know, Gobert plays and, and, and Donovan Mitchell, and, and everybody's a full go, it's hard to step in front of the Utah train. I mean, you know, the Quinn Snyder done a great job with them. Um, he's got them shooting a lot of threes early on the shot clock, like within the first eight seconds. They're extremely efficient. Uh, they shoot a ton of three-pointers a game. They make a ton of three-pointers a game. It, it comes from every direction. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, it comes from Joe Ingles. It comes from Jordan Clarkson, who absolutely is is a walking bucket off the bench, probably sixth man of the year. You know, it's Bogdanovich. And then once in a while, they'll wear you down with Rudy Gobert on the inside. I mean, it, Mike Conley, it just, it just never ends, and it's relentless. And, um, you know, it's going to be tough for Golden State, in my opinion, to keep up with them. And not only does Utah score the ball efficiently, uh, but they also play really good team defense. So, you know, I think all encompassing, looking at a six six and a half point spread, um, I'm going to lean Utah to win this game. I'm going to lean them to cover the six and a half. And I'm also going to lean over 230. And that's, uh, that's where I'm looking right now. But best of luck. Uh, if you decide to uh, wager anything on this game, like I always say, please do your due diligence. Make sure there's nobody out. There's nothing crazy. Remember, these these plays are not the gospel. They're just early leans. And um, I wish you the best of luck. And again, it's your friend, Philly Fan. It is Sunday, March 14th, 2021. Peace.